Welcome back. So in the previous version, I went ahead and downloaded a free version for personal use for VMware Fusion on a MacBook Pro. Now we're going to go ahead and load Kali Linux into that. Let's just open up a browser, go ahead and type in download Kali. Select the get Kali. And we have a couple options here. If I'm using a uh, Mac that has an Intel processor, I can go ahead and download a pre-built virtual machine. That uh, process is pretty simple and you just open it up in VMware Fusion, it works pretty well. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this, um, this is a MacBook Air um, with an M3 chip, so it's Apple Silicon. So what we have to do there is we have to go ahead and get down the installer image. And you can see that we can do this from the installer image for a, you know, a, a normal Intel-based processor or for the Apple Silicon. So let's select that. And then we're gonna go ahead and download that installer. We can see our download just completed. So we're going ahead and select that file and you'll see that there's an ISO there. So now into our downloads folder, we have Kali Linux. This is the current version of, uh, as of February, 2025. So this is 2024.4. Um, installer. So this is good. Let's go ahead and close that out. We can close out our window. Let's open up VMware Fusion that we've previously installed. Skip that. Um, let's install from disk or image. And we can go ahead and drag the file that we downloaded right into this. Select the ISO, drag it right in there, and let's hit continue. Here we select the operating system. So we're going to go to a Linux base. So we're going to pick the Debian 12. We could customize the settings here. Let's just go ahead and go with the default. We can save this. Let's change the name here. So this is actually our Kali 2024.4. And I already have a folder called Virtual Machines. That's a good place to stick it. and we'll let this install start to happen. I'm gonna select install, English, um, pick your correct location. I'm in the United States, uh, American English, sounds reasonable, and let it roll. So we'll go ahead and enter a host name for this system. It's already set on Kali. We'll leave that right now. Continue. The main name will continue through that. User account, we'll go ahead and set something up. Choose password. Re-enter it. Clock. Let's let this install. Now here where it says use the entire disk, this is actually the entire virtual machine disk, not your disk. I know it's a little scary, but let's go with that. All files in one partition, let's roll. Take a quick look, gonna set up a 20 gig partition. And we could have changed this in configuration earlier, but we'll use all the defaults to make this easy. Let's write changes to disks. Let this finish up. Installation finally finished up. We'll go ahead and select continue. We'll see that our Kali virtual machine is spinning up. We already made a password for it. Go ahead and select into that. There you have it. So you have um, on a Mac, this one's a MacBook Air um, M3 silicon chip. 
VMware Fusion downloaded from Broadcom.com. Um, currently, the licensing is free for personal use. Go to download Kali Linux, download your ISO, install it, and here you go. You can select the icon. You see all of your tools. Terminal window, everything seems to be working fine. And we can make sure our network connectivity is working. We'll go ahead and hit Firefox. And let's just go to Google. Make sure our network connectivity is there and, and we're all set. Thank you. Um, please go ahead and uh, subscribe to the account. And if you need to, again, go see how to install VMware Fusion with the free personal use license, there's also the link to that video. Thank you.